Testing, testing. There we go. It's fixed now. Oh boy. Let's try that again, shall we? Now that you can hear me. All right. Hi, everybody. We have to do the hand. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Inter. Uh, we're on artistic license. Oh my God. Can we scuff again? Let's do it again. Three, third time's the charm. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be playing some Final Fantasy X. Welcome in. Mike's not muted this time, I see as I glance back to my OBS. <laughs> Welcome in, Koneko. By the way, I see you got the first. Thank you so much for joining us today. It wouldn't be a stream without technical difficulties. Exactly. Live is live, friends. Live is live. What are y'all doing today? What are y'all doing today? <laughs> we're getting ready to have our friend um, Ian over tomorrow. Um, he's coming to visit. Um, he's kind of chaotic, but I think we're gonna have a good time anyways. You know, we made sure all the things were charged. We made sure the yard was cleaned up. So like, we're ready. We're ready for him. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I want to show you guys something though. I want to show you guys something. Okay. So remember I was asking a little bit about like merch and would you guys be interested in some? Well, oh, thank you, Koneko. Always looking out for me. <laughs> Always looking out for me. I got to get your address, by the way, because I'm what I'm about to show you guys. Well, I got some mock-ups. Um, I got some mock-ups of some stickers. Oh, wait, it's too, too light. You can't see it. Oh, what is this? Okay, let me actually show you. Let me actually show you what I got. So I got some, these smaller ones are mock-ups from the Stream Elements store. And I got these larger ones, which are from Sticker Mule. Now I had to buy 10 sheets of this. Okay, but these ones from Sticker Mule here, they are much higher quality, and I like the size of the paper a lot better. You can see, like, here's the, here's the mock-up that I can actually peel, right? Um, but I had to get 10 of these, but I do like them way better. But these are from the Stream Element store, and they're much smaller, but they can print on demand, so I don't have to keep any... Um, inventory or anything like that. Also, I have a lot more control over the layout, which means I can fuck up. Okay, I'll show you the fuck ups in a second. Here's like an artistic license logo pack. Okay. Um, here's one where I put them all together. You can see like the artistic license logo and the little movie reel. It's like they're attached. See how they're attached. I don't know how well you can see where the line is. I try to angle it so you can see. And I also, because these, I didn't have to buy 10 of them. I got a couple different ones. I got ones of my alerts. You can see those are super attached. <laughs> these guys, these two guys here are super attached. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You can focus. So I, I reordered these ones that are messed up. Um, same thing with the, the Riri uh, alert ones. You can see I messed up. And uh, they're attached. <laughs> They're attached. So I got others. So these are kind of like the play ones. So like Koneko, you do such a good job like with clips for me and stuff. You need to DM me your address and I'll send you like a couple packs or something. I got to figure something out because these obviously these are just mock-ups. I cannot sell them and I don't like the layout of these even though I like the size. Oh, thank you so much. Um, So I'm, I might actually get like play. I might actually like try to work with them because the rep that that made these like I can talk to him. I just didn't bother because I didn't even know if they'd be good quality if I would even care that much and like actually work on the layout of it together and like actually open up a store and sell some of these because these are really nice like on the mock up sheet like they peel and like they feel really good the way that they're cut out. I really I like these a lot I feel like it's it's so bright. My lights are so bright. Put it close so you can see but yeah it's all the logos and stuff so i'm really really happy with these and i am kind of thinking about like ordering a couple of like 10 packs and opening like a little merch store on coffee oh my gosh hey space robot arm 
Um, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you are right here at the very beginning of stream. We're still doing kind of like hangout stuff. Um, but y'all should go, y'all should be going to follow um, Space Robot Arm. They play a lot of like older retro games, which you guys know, I like to play a lot of games that are focused on good stories, which happens to be a lot of times older games. Um, remind me, Demi, tomorrow then. Will do, will do, Koneko. But y'all should definitely go follow um, Space Robot Arm. Space Robot Arm, I can spell. There we go. There we go. What is happening? What happened? Somebody set up us the bomb. We get signal. What? How are you, gentlemen? Main screen, turn on. Oh wait, I was too early. There we go. It's you. It's you. How are How you, are gentlemen? You gentlemen? All your base. All your base are belong to us. Who remembers? You are on the way to destruction. <laughs> You have what no chance to survive. Say? Make you time. <laughs> Who remembers? No to survive. Make your time. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I was just like transported. Like it is all of a sudden um, 2002. It was somewhere around then, right? I feel like it was like early 2000s. It's all of a sudden 2002 now, which is exactly this is the perfect vibe. It's the perfect vibe. Um, we're here for it, right? I never realized it starts off so well and this just just gets worse and worse, right? It's like, let's put in like a tiny bit of ever for the first couple of lines. And after that, let's just like give up. Let's just like give up completely. Um, no more effort in the translation. Uh, we didn't even have Google Translate at that time. So I don't know what the excuse is. I don't know what the excuse is. Just like zero, zero amount of effort. Yeah, games with good stories. <laughs> well, the, the meme has a good story. The meme has a good story. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, as far as like the, the stickers go, I am really thinking of like playing with the layout and actually ordering some of these to sell. But for now I've got, there's 10 in there plus one, two, three, four, five packs that I gotta, I gotta give to some people. So Koneko, I definitely want to, cause you've been so supportive of the Thursday, um, streams. I definitely want to send you some, but I'll figure out what I'll do with the rest. You know what I mean? Heck and babble fished. Exactly. Super babble fished. I remember Babblefish. Whatever happened to Babblefish? Is that still a website? Does that still exist? I don't know. But you know what we're going to do today? We're going to do a personality quiz. This is the one we're going to do. I'm very excited for it. Um, this was linked in, in my Discord, and a couple people went ahead and did it. We're going to do it now, too. Which aesthetic, TM, color are you? Ever wondered how people see you? How an artist would paint you? Or how an author would describe you? What makes some love you and others turn away? Yeah, dude. Same. Damn. Anyway... This quiz will tell you which highly aesthetic color you are, at least in the painter's eye. Color is in a picture. Color in a picture is like enthusiasm in life. All right, cool. I have to look that up. Hang on, Babblefish still exists. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I almost cannot believe it. Babblefish still exists. Old website. All right, pick a scent. The scent that follows me when I'm fresh out of a long bath. Orange blossoms and ozone with something deeper you can't quite place. Spicy. Wood smoke and vanilla with hints of warm spice. Baking bread, that's it. This is a uh, hobbit core. Asphalt after rain, gasoline, and their perfume. Their perfume, okay. The scent of childhood, all sunscreen and birthday candles. This is probably me. Old books, fresh coffee, and wood varnish. This is the other version of me, these last two right here. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go with birthday candles and sunscreen. Um, it's winter and it's starting to get cold. And uh, and I don't like the cold. I mean, I'm I'm happy for no more hot, you know, because I'm kind of over it. But also, like, I walked outside today and I was like, oh, why is it cold? Why is it actually chilly? Ew, I need to go put on shoes. My feet are cold. Wham. Well, yeah. Like, I literally did that. And uh, Levi looks up at me. He goes, like, it's not cold out here. I was like, yes, it is. Gosh. We blame Ian. Okay. We blame him. Uh, pick a drink. Tea with milk and honey. Lemonade. Boba. Fuck yeah. Beer. A pretty cocktail. Wine. Coffee. Probably black. Um, I mean, I really honestly like this is water. I just drink water and coffee like 90% of the time. But um, I do love me some boba. It's been consistently around 15 degrees Celsius here over the past week and I'm happy I can wear my comfy hoodie. Oh yeah, it is absolutely hoodie weather as of today. Coffee is life. Coffee is super life, sir. Super life. Um, every morning. Every morning. I don't have black, though. I will put, like, a little bit of creamer in it. 
Not much, but a little bit. If you had to pick, doing some damn good. Inner peace for the love of God. A true love, loyal, lifelong friendships, creative achievement. There's something else I'd choose, creative achievement. I feel like I actually have a lot of these. Um, I have a lot of I have a lot of good friends. Uh, you guys have been very kind to me, right? So I have a lot of good friends, true love. Um, I definitely have a really good relationship with my husband, so I think I'm doing that. Inner peace, uh, most days, not every day, but most days. So I think creative achievement. Okay, don't think, just choose. Respected, admired, held. Ooh, um, respected. Yeah, R E S P E C T. Don't think, just choose. Cool, warm, warm. Ideal, rainy evenings, snow, doesn't matter what time it is. Ew, no. Um, stormy nights, sunny afternoons, rainy evenings. A little bit of rain is good. I think a little bit of rain is good. Time for the obligatory choose a lyric question. Okay, let's see what songs the Zoomers are listening to that I don't know. We were reaching, mm, excuse me, we had a very good dinner tonight. Uh, we are reaching in the dark that summer in New York and it was far to fall. You said it didn't hurt at all and let it wash away, wash away. Oh, oh my gosh, excuse me, Lawrence and the Machines. Um, it's the river, not the rain. Why is everyone pretending that there's not a drop to drink? There you go, holding on to everything. Let it all go, man. If I was born as a black thorn tree, I'd want to be felled by you, held by you. Fuel the pyre of your enemies. Ain't it warm in you, the world gone up in flames? Ain't it the life for you, your lightning of the blaze? Oh, that's really nice. And once upon it, the yellow bonnet, garland all the lawn, and you were waking, all day was breaking, a panoply of song. That is actually like like poetic those lyrics. You don't even need music to know the beat. That's nice. Um, but we have to go with Florence and the Machine because we love her. Okay, pick an aesthetic you gravitate to. Chunky boots, ripped jeans, bomber jacket. The brightest available color in whatever's on trend. <laughs> I do like, I, I was into it until it said whatever's on trend. Meh, mm, I don't know. Uh, thrifted woolly sweaters, round glasses, soft hair. Delicate jewelry, French tuck, well-maintained nails. Hell yeah. I'm super into this like jewel toned rainbow I got going on. I feel like it's very like rainbow, but also fall. Uh, funky prints and weird color combos that shouldn't work, but do. I do love that. The more extra, the better. Honestly, truly, I don't super care. My aesthetic varies wildly day to day, but every look is a look. Um, yeah, weird color combos. Pick a fantasy setting. Oh, fun, okay. A cozy Hobbiton drawing room. Enjoying Elevensies, the wintry lamplit forest of Narnia, the Hogwarts Quidditch pitch catching that snitch, the TARDIS on my way to adventure, a uh, Moss Eisley Cantina because tunes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the one song they know. Howl's Moving Castle as it trundles over shimmering green hills. Wow, wow, we wow. These are some good ones. These are some good ones. Um, but we got to go to Hobbiton, you know. We definitely got to go to Hobbiton. I think. Okay, where would you rather be? At a cafe where all the baristas know me, planning my next project with coffee in hand as sunlight filters through the window. At work, feeling productive and valued as something I've been working on for ages wraps up with the most perfect bow. That's actually started, That's actually happening at work kind of right now. Got a big, like, over a year-long project that's going to be done in November. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, watching the sun set over the sea with the people I love. Dancing barefoot with them as the fireworks light up the sky. Dancing with my best friend in the kitchen as the scent of pancakes we're making mingles in the air with our favorite old tunes. Sharing a porch swing with the person I love. Enjoying a cup of tea and a good book as thunder rolls in the distance. Beside a crackling campfire, imagining Im images in the stars above, the canopy as the last crickets of summer fill night air. In a pub with my closest friend, sharing stories over drinks and laughing at who we used to be as the rain patters outside. Um, definitely summer campfire. What does it say? So fun fact on the where would you rather be the dancing in the kitchen answer is literally something my partner and I did when we were on vacation together for the first time. Ah, that's so cute, Koneko. Uh, just vibing to music and making pancakes. Making bacon pancakes. Uh, this quiz came for me to answer so accurate. You did it for your characters before, right? But you just did it for you. What did you get? All right, don't think, just choose eyes, hands, chest, eyes. Out of curiosity, okay, no, but I don't even know what the options are, and we don't do those. Oh, I got cobalt blue. Oh, that's bright. 
That's bright. Nothing feels better to you than making something new from nothing. That's true. It would take rope, some tape, and quite possibly a triple lock door to keep you from a creative pursuits. You're expressive and unique and refuse to be boxed in. Some are put off by put off or left behind by your passion for things that matter to you. Oh, that's kind of true. Um, occasionally you would do well to slow down and ground yourself in the present. Shut up. Uh, check in with others, take a break, and let yourself worry less about the lofty goals of yours. Be quiet. You don't know me. Oh, I got a rare one. Um, what did you get? Lavender. Ooh, okay. So you have a soft heart. Your home is full of sentimental knickknacks you've made, been given, or picked up by your travels. And anyone who enters is immediately put at ease by your comforting energy. Your friends know they can turn to you for a cup of tea and a tight hug, or if necessary, a kick in the ass. At times, you find yourself tending to others more than you do yourself, and often, and you often take on more than you can bear of others' sadness. Just remember, you are worth the same kindness you show to the people around you. They want would want nothing less for you. Oh, that's a nice answer. I like it, Koneko. You got a good one. I kind of vibe with some of the stuff in that answer as well. That's a good, a good answer. Good answer. Okay. All right, you guys. I had the best dinner. We had um, ordered a bunch of different uh, snacks, like side, like microwavable side. I guess you can do it on the stove too. Microwavable like side dishes of Indian food. And we made all of them. <laughs> We made all of them tonight and just had like a, a vegetarian smorgasbord dinner. Oh my god, it was so delicious. It was so delicious. I'm like, oh, oh, so good. It was so good. My stomach is so happy right now. Look at my trinket display shelf. Sweats in high empathy. <laughs> the answer literally came from my life. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of things. Honestly, all of our like things and stuff, it's in this room. It's mostly like that crazy nail polish shelf I have. Oh, there's a queen. Queen's going to chill with us today. All right, you guys. So in the interim, in between, here's what I did. This is super fun. <gasps> no, I loaded the wrong save. Return to the main menu. I loaded the wrong save. Hang on. Yes, I would like to quit. Loaded the wrong save. Okay. I hope I didn't like mess up oh i bet i know what happened oh i bet i know what happened hang on let's fix this we'll go back to webcam so y'all aren't just staring at a black screen okay i know what happened because i did this on the other computer i bet steam did not pull in my cloud save let's go refresh that let's go refresh that mm -mm -mm. okay cloud save up to date I might have lost all of that if it just overwrote my cloud save. We might have to pause and I have to go open the other computer where I actually did this. I did so much leveling up work. I hope we didn't lose it. Okay, this says the 25th. What day was the 25th? That was Sunday. Okay, okay, okay. The autosave should be it. Okay. Yes. Okay, this is right. Whew, we almost had a panic. All right, let me show you guys. All right, here's what I actually did. Come on, OBS. OBS, you can do it. There we go. All right, so everybody, everybody, I went through and they, they finished the sphere grid. Okay, we have all of the bubbles filled in except for the fortune spheres. Otherwise, everything else was filled in, okay? And we did it for everybody, and we took them back here. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We now can do some stat maxing by filling in all of these empty bubbles. So I've done this somewhat. Hell yeah, it is. Um, so I've done this somewhat. So we can do, we've got some of these. Like, I have a lot of magic defense spheres because I was um, doing a lot of farming for those weapons from one eye. So we have a ton of those. You miss the fortune spheres, miss fortune spheres. Ha ah, ha ha, that's exactly right. So we're gonna try to do some stat maxing, okay? So you can do this and it will fill it in, all right? And then we can do, so it'll be a mana sphere. So we can go through everybody and fill that in as a mana sphere. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing as we kind of progress 
uh, farther. We're going to be taking everyone through and filling in all of these blank spots so we can get them better stats. But I figured, like, finishing the sphere grid of what's, like, here by standard was probably a good spot to kind of get to before the next set of bosses, because we've got Ixion Part 2 and we've got Shiva. But after that, if you look at that wiki that we've been using, that um, Koneko, you've been helping me with, it starts to say things like, you know, that you should have max defense or max, mag max magic defense or things like that. And you'll see, like, even when with all of this, my characters don't. I mean, they have max HP and MP, but they don't have max anything else. You can see, like, Yuna's highest stat is the 184 um, agility. Riku, um, she has 190 agility. There's a lot of agility spheres on here, but you know, and they have base stats too. So, so there's still going to be different, even though they've got all the same bubbles filled in. So um, he's got uh, strength 196, but like the max is 255. The max is 255. And I don't think a single stat that I have, if you look at these, breaks 200. Like we're just flipping through them. But yeah, see, not, not a single one even break, breaks um, 200. So there's still a lot that we can do. And you can farm up, like I don't have very many, but you can farm up these these uh, spears right here that will fill in. So I might have to be in between stream instead of leveling up by just getting more spear grids. It might be like farming for some of these guys that I don't have very many of. Now, this is like overkill. You don't need like 97 of these. Maybe fortune spheres, you need a few hundred. Uh, but the rest of these, like you don't need so many. You maybe need like... 50 to 60 of uh, of each of these to actually get people's stats maxed out or close to maxed out. All right, and then we have to farm some fortune spheres as well. I It's so boring because it's like the way to farm all of these and the fortune spheres too is to kill various of those bosses that are in like the species and area conquests. So like it just, it's not like you can just be like, boop, one hit, it's dead. So it actually takes four fucking ever. But anyway, that's what I've been doing, and that's where we are. So let's get, let's assemble the dream team. All right, ladies, let's get in formation. So we're going to do it like this, I think, and then we'll have an Aeon eat the overdrive because that strat was working pretty good. So I'm actually going to walk back in here and save for real since we just loaded from the auto save. That makes me very nervous. Makes me very nervous. So we're going to save for realsies. All right, so yes, I would like to say for realsies. Thank you. All. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go, Ixion part two. Shouldn't be as hard according to the wiki. Fabulous. So I'm just gonna do basically the same thing then. I'm gonna quick hit for victory and uh, bring Yuna in, summon an Aeon to um, eat the eat Thor's hammer. So I think that's what we're that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, and then we'll go tackle Dark Shiva. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to run too far. Sometimes when, when, based on when the lightning strikes, I feel like you would have to run like super far for that guy. Um, during a second battle, Dark Ixion can no longer counter. Oh, fabulous. And his attacks now inflict confuse instead of sleep. In addition to armor break and mental break, as before, he uses his normal overdrive, but Thor's hammer is quite weak. 17 to 19k. Okay. And it does a full break. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Quick hit for victory. Quick hit for victory. Fuck yeah. We like it. We gotta be speedy. Yeah, so because... Oh, you bitch. See, like, even though I finished the sphere grid, like, his luck and accuracy is still... He still missed. We still had a miss. Like, that's just insane. But we did. Titus... Titus, get it together, okay? Get it together. Orin, not you too? Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies. Quick hit for victory. We gotta remember on that last turn, bring in Yuna Yuna. Okay. You bitch. Okay. Now we bring in Yuna. Um. Uh. I mean, we don't need. I don't need to overdrive. I don't. I don't need to overdrive. I don't need to overdrive. I don't need it. I don't need it. 
Um, out of the original creations, Dark Aeons and Penance combined, the only available attacks are Dark Ixion's physical attacks. Wow. Dark Ixion is the most accurate enemy of the game, making a combined total of 290 evasion plus luck required to ensure dodging any evadable attacks in the game. It does not matter whether this is a 255 evasion and 35 luck or 35 evasion and 255 luck or anywhere in between. Oh, 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 oh. that is good. Good to know. Good to know. All right, hammer me, baby. Hammer me, baby. We all agree this is the this very smashable, right? I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone who's been watching my um, streams ha says pass on Ixion. I mean, and especially this version, you know, he's like tall, dark, and handsome. You know what I mean? Smash. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's how we do it. This is how we do it. Yeah, I I think the grunt sound is appropriate, Titus. What? I am so overleveled for this. I'm so overleveled. But the thing is, I know that if I had not done this, then we have no chance of going and beating Nemesis or any of the other Dark Aeons based on what I read. I know this. This is a fact. Ooh, I got some some uh, dark matter. Fabulous. How many dark matters do I have? Probably not enough. Not enough for another ribbon, but I'm curious. Let's see. Where are you? Probably like right here on the screen and like I'm just like freaking blind. Where are you? I scroll right past. There we go. Dark Matter 33. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, he doesn't have much AP. He really didn't, man. He really didn't. He was like, bye, really fast. He only even got one Thor's hammer off. <clears throat> All right, let's board the airship. Let's board the airship. Okay, let's go ahead and let's move, move the bitches along. All right, here we go. We can do... Let's keep going with the... Magic defense, I feel like defensive stuff is probably the best that we can do. Um, so that's how we're going to progress the peoples for right now. We're going to fill all these in with defenses. Oh, yeah, you can move. It's okay. <clears throat> so what has everybody been up to this week? What have y'all been doing? Everything? I hope you're doing um, lots of fun and chill things um, that you're having like a, a grand old time. All right, let's fill in another. I'm gonna keep doing, I just, I have so many magic defenses, like why not, right? Let's max out everyone's magic defense. Um, I feel like that could only be a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess she can move farther, I guess, since it's already, it's filled out, so, yeah, she can move farther. Why am I taking these baby steps? Why am I doing that? No baby steps for me. Manosphere, yes. Oh, okay. All right, Orin, we can go here. Use another Manosphere. Here's all zeros. Okay. Uh, yes. My week's been super busy. Yes, it was. Happy birthday, Koneko. I know I said it on the day, but happy birthday also now. Um, I think the fastest way to get to Shiva is going to be Palmlands. Maybe Lake Makalania. No, maybe it is going to be Lake Makalania because she's over in the by the temple, I'm pretty sure. Um... And then that, I've been trying to cope with writer's block, excessive energy, and sudden writer's doubt. Koneko, you're an amazing writer. I don't, don't doubt. I'm sorry you're going through that. I'm sorry you're going through that. But I, I mean, I see like the advice and things you give in the cafe and I know you're good. I know you're good. All right, we don't, we don't want to do all this. Okay, we don't want to. Come on. We don't need this. We don't need this nonsense while we walk over to Shiva. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think she's like, she's back here. 
We have to go to the temple. Oh, and last Saturday when I was at the stables, the person behind the counter gave me a photograph of the horse who passed away earlier this year that I and I nearly cried. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. What? Oh, that's so nice of them, Koneko. You had to keep the photo and bring it home? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure she's back here. Oh, no, we crossed this way. Oh, what is this? This is different. The heck? What is go happening? Yeah, so this is what it looks like now. Um, and we can come back through here. If you remember before, we rode the little we rode the little guys to this area and then we got chased back by the guado. Oh, who's that over there? Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Yeah, I got to keep it. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, it's now in the place of honor on my shelf above my bed. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, you come back to Makalavia Temple, a traitor. Traitor. Find your salvation on the far plane. No, you. No, you. You and your mom. Wow, look at Dark Shiva. Just wow, look at her. Look at her, smash, totally smash. Totally smash. Um, the writer's doubt is definitely not my rational brain talking and I know it's not real, I shouldn't listen to it, it's still annoying. Yeah, it's annoying, it's really annoying. Especially when I'm considering taking on a new RP Muse in a server, do it! Okay, a new Muse can be absolutely invigorating. Absolutely invigorating. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here because this is working really well. We're gonna quick hit for victory and Aeon, use Aeons to eat her overdrive. Yep, quick hit for victory. See all them 999s? I love all them 999s. What is, what is that? M O. Oh, no, you. It says no, you. <laughs> yeah, no, you. You bitch. We gonna win. We gonna win. It is, it is inevitable. It is inevitable if I would not stop missing so much. There we go. Whack or good. Wow, that was some high kicks. That was some high kicks. Okay, now we need Yuna. Okay, let's, um... Let's, let's, uh... Dark versus Light Shiva. Okay. Shiva versus Shiva. Get her. Get her, other Shiva. Already have four in the max is five, and one of them's been fickle, so my stress brain has said I should drop that one, but he's very dear to me, and I just, uh, you should drop that one, Koneko. You know I'm going to tell you that. If you get a muse being fickle, hanging on to it is going to um, make things more difficult for you. Let her go. Or let him go. Or let them go. Whatever their pronouns, I don't know. But let him go. You can always bring him back later. Okay. Roleplay characters are never truly dead. But maybe it's time to not focus on them, even if they're quite dear to you. Just drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Unlike Shiva, who's very cold. Extremely high agility, except Diamond Dust, have low ranks, meaning she attacks more often. I'm noticing that. Um, her Heavenly Strike causes instant death, as well as Berserk and Confused. Dark Shiva does not counterattack. Her standard physical attack removes several beneficial statuses. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, okay. Yeah, her, her regular attack also killed me, so I think we're okay with inflicting the statuses. I'm not, I'm not too miffed about that. Okay. Yes, we've got this. We got this, y'all. We got this. We got this, y'all. If we would stop missing. If we would stop missing, we could kill her. Yeah, exactly, Waka. Exactly. Yeah, because I don't have any armor or anything that breaks the HP limit. So, um, yeah. So her, her high kick is just gonna kill him. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna make sure I don't... Oh, yeah. Okay, she's got... 
Ooh, Daredevil. Okay. Uh, okay, it's time for Yuna. Come, Yuna. Come, Yuna. Okay. Um, let's have a grand summon, okay? I mean, those, those Guado taunted me. So I think we need Miss Anima to come teach Shiva a lesson. You know, if the Guado are going to get involved, let's involve, okay? Now our part again is hitting her. That is what I'm noticing. She does not, she does not want to get hit. Okay, she does not want to get hit. Oblivion. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Love ya. She's the best. She's the best. Best mother-in-law in the world. Okay. Best mother-in-law in the world. Sorry, other mo mother-in-laws. You cannot compare to Anima. Okay, you can't compare. She's the best. I think Fickle Muse being Fickle because I wrote myself into a corner. He's handicapped and can't walk far. Current plot requires walking long distance, and I gotta find a thing he can do while the plot goes on. Oh. <clears throat> Why are we fighting Guado now? Why are we fighting Guado now? I just wrecked your princess. I just wrecked her. And you're gonna do this? The fuck? What is the point? What is the point? Yeah, overkill. Overkill. You gotta run? They will chase you? Oh. I get it. I get it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You're gonna chase me down this corridor again. Give me flash fucking backs. Okay. Okay. I mean, y'all know I never played this part of the game, so I don't actually know it the way I know the rest. Yeah, he's chased. Okay, okay. Yeah, exactly like when we fought Seymour in this spot. Exactly like it. Bye. Bye. We don't abide. We don't. And why do the Guado run so fast? Like, they have, like, they, like, hunch over, kind of. Like, they don't stand up straight, and yet they can run so fast. Is it their arms? Do their massive arms make them really aerodynamic? I wonder. I wonder. It probably is the massive arms. And the furry bellies. They probably use those, um, those little hairs to, like, you know, catch a, a drift and, like, go super fast. Like, um, like bird's feathers. You know? Okay, run, run, run. I know, I know there's chat messages, but run. Run, you can read the chat when he catches up to you. Like, look at this bitch! He's so fast! That should be illegal! It should be illegal to be so fast! Huh! You can once again return to the temple once you've successfully despawned the guado. I don't think they can respawn afterwards. Okay. So if we did want to go back there, we could. For us, there's no reason. For us, there's no reason. We got, like, the destruction fear and all that stuff. So, there's no reason for us to go back. But I could see why you might want to. Depending on if you unlocked all the things. Whenever you first went through the temple. Okay. I don't know why they would chase me. I don't know why they would chase me. They have auto-haste out of battle. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's true. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the save, save sphere. Okay. So according to everything that the internet tells me, the next boss we should go fight is Nemesis in the arena. He's the next hardest. Um, and then we should fight the rest of the... Um, dark aeons okay that that is what i am told You're counting on it. yeah counting on me thanks so we're gonna go back to calmlands we're gonna go back to calmlands and see if we can beat up nemesis i don't know i really don't know if we can but we're gonna find out All right we're gonna find out yes i would love to ride a chobokabo 
Let's roll the Chipokabo! Um, okay. We're gonna do this with the Chibokabo music. Uh, yeah. Go here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do 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 We don't spend enough time listening to this music all the way through, so we're gonna do that. Okay, that's as far as he can go. Alright. Yeah, a manosphere. Still can't get over the fact that choke bokobos sound like peacocks. They're just big peacocks, they're big rideable peacocks. Big old yellow chicken peacocks. Yeah. I wonder if chocobos taste like chicken. Does anyone in the Final Fantasy universe ever eaten a chocobo? I don't recall ever hearing of that. But they do have chocobo farms. I know they're, they breed them for racing in Final Fantasy VII, but still. You know, having a chocobo farm implies that someone's eating chocobo somewhere too. Oh, is this the Nemesis? Okay. Thank you so much, Konek. I'm going to read that in a second. I'm just going to walk in here and save. I don't want to lose any of that progress. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Okay. Special damage, including overdrives and items, will cause Nemesis to counter with Ultima. Its ethereal cannon is non-elemental magic based against one character, the Ultra Spark. Okay, I remember the Ultra Spark, bitch. I hate that thing. Power break inflicted by Ultra Spark will also affect Aeons. Okay, which Armageddon. Nemesis' attack pattern is semi-predictable. It'll use ethereal cannon, Ultra Spark, and a physical attack in that order, though it may use a physical attack in between these. Okay, so it's predictable-ish. This physical attack gives Nemesis three points towards the- Okay, I remember the point system for Armageddon. Once it, re once it reaches 21, it's going to Armageddon your ass. Okay. Shell reduces the damage of Ethereal Cannon and Ultima and Protect mitigates the physical attacks. Neither will affect Ultra Spark, which can be only be reduced via the defense stat, including via Cheer, or on or an Aeon using Shield. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see what happens. Um, oh, I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling nervous. I think I'm gonna go pee first. I'll be right back, but I'm not gonna go to the be right back screen so you guys can listen to the fun music. Um, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Okay, I had to pet Queen for good luck. Um, strategy still viable, but no longer effective. Oh, because quick hit's not as good. Hyper Mighty G. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the player enters with the Maga Sisters and they maxed or Yuna's Grand Summon, these can also be used to deal heavy damage before Nemesis takes out the Aeon. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Alright. Alright, let's try him. Let's see what happens. See what happens. Okay, last guy we've not beat. Last guy. Last guy. Smash or pass? Absolutely smash. Where's Kendra? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, overdrives are going to make him counter. So... We should just... Quick hit. Yeah, we should just quick hit. We should not overdrive. Um, I do want Yuna in here, but in a second. 
Okay, we're gonna quit kit. Okay. Yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring Yuna in. I guess she can quit kit too. Yep. Look at that. Look at all that damage she did. Okay. What is her overdrive set to? That did not charge very much. That did not charge very much. Not very happy with that. I want to charge her overdrive. <clears throat> oh, I have it on a different charging setting than I thought. Okay, it just charges on her turn. Alright, good to know. Ethereal cannon. Is this gonna kill me? Oh no, it's only one character. Okay. Alright. Okay, it's almost charged. Almost. Oh my gosh. One more hit. Here's that Ultra Spark bitch. I should have put Orin back in. I think I'm gonna die. Mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, at least we got uh, Yuna's overdrive gauge up pretty high. What the heck and heck is she set to? Everyone should be comrade, okay? But she's warrior. Alright. In Soviet Russia. Okay. Everyone is set to comrade. Let's save again. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Okay. We definitely have to have an Aeon eat that cannon. Or eat the spark. I mean, the cannon was fine. Because it only... Yeah, hurt one person. But, um, we gotta have an, we gotta have Aeon. The spark. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, so we had like six different Indian sides. Oh my god. So, something that the pandemic took away from us is going to the Indian buffet, which we used to do, like, you would hit Yuna so that her overdrive doesn't... Mm bitch um what was i saying oh yeah and um so we 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 found like a variety pack of sides on amazon and they were all delicious we ate we tried all of them i ate so much food oh my gosh that's why i keep burping hopefully it's the microphone isn't really picking it up and y'all are just seeing it that sound is gross. <laughs> what was that? Why did I come in here? Oh yeah, I wanted to shell. I wanted to shell. Everybody get some shell. Everybody get some shell. Shell yourself. Shell yourself. So yeah, that's what we did for um for dinner. And oh my god, it was so good. Actually, oh, what the fuck is he gonna do next? Okay, wait. You told me, Koneko, I'm scrolling back up. It'll use Ethereal Cannon, Ultra Spark, and a Physical Attack. So it used Ethereal Cannon, which means it's about to Ultra Spark. Okay. We need... We need somebody to eat the Ultra Spark. Come on, Plucky. Come on, baby. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna use either Physical or Spark. Okay, it's probably gonna Spark. Nope, physical. My bitch, I just wasted it. I just wasted it. But he's definitely gonna cannon next time. I mean spark, he's definitely gonna spark next time. My god. For some reason, I want the more annoying one to be called cannon and spark to be the one I that it's not too bad. <clears throat> All right. Let's quick hit. Nope, not special. It's under skill. Um, why don't you heal yourself, Yuna? 
I think that's good. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Gotta have somebody eat the spark. And he's gonna do the spark next, because he did a physical, so he's definitely gonna spark next. So this isn't gonna be a waste. This isn't gonna be a waste. Alright. Come on, Snuggles. Whack him with your meteor. Oh, good. Right in the crotch. Good shot. Oh, but he's countering. Oh, but he's countering. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die because he's going to cannon me because that wasn't his turn. That was a counter. I should have held. I should have just held or just done a regular attack. Oh, man, I fucked up. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't fuck up yet. Okay, I didn't fuck up yet. Didn't fuck up yet. All right. Oh, and Yuna has her full... <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay, she still gets another turn. So we're gonna actually... We're gonna quick hit. Okay. We're gonna quick hit... All right, and then we're gonna grand summon the we're gonna grand summon the ladies. All right, all right, come on, girls, let's get moving. Yeah, it's uh, surprising. It, so, I guess the order is not as predictable, except that once he has used cannon, he's gonna use either physical or spark, and then once he's used spark, he's either gonna use physical or cannon. And it goes kind of back and forth like that. But I guess in otherwise it's not really not um, predictable. So that's what it seems like. That's some nice deeps. That's some nice deeps, ladies. We like to see it. We like to see it. Can they survive an Ultima? I think physical is guaranteed after spark before he goes back to cannon if I'm reading the wiki correctly. Okay. Well, he hasn't sparked yet. He owes us a spark. There's the spark. Okay. But this is what I wanted. I wanted the spark to go on an Aeon. So we're good. This is good. Okay. All right. This is good. All right. And they're gone. That is a lot of damage if it can take out all three Maga sisters. There's a lot of damage. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Compared to that spark? Compared to that spark, yep. Alright, let's keep on the quick hits. Um, so he's gonna cannon me or physical attack. So yeah, I wanna keep quick hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep doing this. Is there any- there's no reason to heal Titus. There's no reason. There's no reason. Because whoever gets hit with the cannon's gonna die. And that's just how it is. It doesn't matter if they're max health or not. Alright, sweet! And Yuna's back up. Fuck yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Alright. Alright, Giggles, do your thing. Do your thing! So yeah, because our friend Ian is coming to visit tomorrow, we had to go pick up all of the um, Halloween decorations out of the yard that we worked so hard on. We're going to have to put those back up. So we had to do that. We had to put the grill and the other outside stuff in the garage. Um, some things like that. It was a little bit annoying, but we did all of that today. So that Ian can't wreck our stuff, because he's kind of like that, you know? He's kind of a destructive friend. Charged all our stuff. So if any of you guys listening, um, by the time the VOD goes up, I think Ian will have already been left. So if anybody's listening, if you're in my area, Ian's coming to visit. Don't forget to charge your shit. Don't forget to clean up your yard. Because I don't think it's going to be that bad, but you know he's going to wreck your yard. He's definitely going to wreck your yard. Um, even if you're not close to the coast, so... Just know that. Alright. 
We have quick hits. Hits. Okay, and here's the cannon. Here's the cannon. Oh my god, it's Kitty! Hey, Kitty! Look which Kitty is visiting today. We've got Queen on the couch. She doesn't usually um, come on the couch during stream, but she is today. How are you doing today, Kitty? I hope you're doing awesome. Okay. So he did the cannon, so he's probably going to spark on his next turn, or he might. He might. We'll see. That emote is very cursed, Koneko. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's super regal. Super regal. Okay. So for his next turn, what we learned is he's probably going to do a physical attack. He might spark. We don't want that spark. We did, Kitty, we did. I got Cobalt Blue. I got Cobalt Blue. Yep. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I got distracted thinking about how I'm Cobalt Blue. Okay, let's go. We're gonna keep quick hitting. Um... Okay. Come on, Floofy. We'll at least do a Floofy Overdrive before we die. But do I want to do an overdrive? Because then he has an opportunity to spark on me. Because he's probably going to kill Floofy. I, need, I should just regular attack. The overdrive's not worth it. The overdrive's not worth it. Because I need the spark to land on Floofy. Yeah, don't overdrive. Thank you. Yes. You are 100% right. I just want to attack. Yeah, just bonk. Just bonk. Oh! Oh! So glad I called out Floofy! To take that Armageddon! Wow! Oh, that animation! Oh, that was intense! That was intense, you guys! The heck? Wow! Wow! Okay. Is he still gonna spark me? Does he still owe me a spark? Because he had enough points for Armageddon? Or is he reset now? I wonder. I don't wanna take any chances. I don't wanna take any chances. <sighs> yeah, but he Armageddoned. <laughs> I think he's gonna spark too. I think he's gonna spark too. So we're just gonna attack. Yes. We were right. He doesn't reset. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. My gosh, how much HP does he have? I feel like... How much longer can I do this? How much longer can I do this? Before I run out of summons. Thank you, Koneko. I cannot get over how thick Ixion's booty is. It's super thick! Oh my god. I've never seen a horse with that big of a booty. Not that I've seen a lot of horses, but you know... It, Ixiana, I feel like, is, like, extra. Um, okay, we're gonna keep quick hitting. Alright, and up next is... Yep, yeah, we don't need to summon. Because he's gonna do a physical, or he's gonna do the cannon. Physical. Okay, wonderful. I'm belated, but I got Oxblood as my aesthetic. Ooh, what does it say? What does it say for Oxblood? I, I haven't heard the description of that one. That sounds so fancy. I've seen a horse with that thick of a booty, but not that pronounced. That horse is just round all over. Round. <laughs> 10 mil, my god. 10 mil. Jesus. 
Okay, well, let's do some more damage because he hasn't even cannoned. He owes me a cannon next. Before he'll do another one of those annoying sparks. You are fearless, honest, and you stick to your guns. You pride yourself on your honesty and on being true to your values, even in difficult situations. Others admire your grit, and those who can handle it appreciate your bluntness. I don't know if you're particularly um, blunt, but I think so far this is pretty cool. Your friendships are ride or die, and your loved ones would destroy the goddamn sun for you, that's true. To put it simply, you're low-key punk. Just remember that softness is not the same as weakness, and that it's okay to be a little more forgiving towards others, but also towards yourself. Oh, wow. I like that one. You got a badass one, kitty. You got a super badass one. Okay, so he physicaled again. So he's he's still teared up to do, or teed up to do cannon. So we're still good. We're still good to just quick hit. <clears throat> I am I am soft for sure. Well, that quiz thinks he's a badass. He's punk rock. He's so punk rock, kitty. Um, I just found an interesting tig tidbit. Mug does not trigger counterattack. Not sure why you would need that. I think it's because he gives rare spears, but it's interesting. That is interesting. I don't think Mug would do any better than the quick hits that I'm doing now, though. So, but that is good to know that Mug is a uh, special that doesn't get the doesn't trigger the counterattack. I wonder, I, I guess, yeah, I guess for stealing reasons, I don't know. Anyway, let's keep quick hitting. He did the cannon, so he owes me a spark at some point. Alright. Okay. Um, I'm scared of the spark, so we're just gonna, we're gonna summon. I wish I could know when he's going to do the spark versus the physical, because I feel like I've wasted a couple of summons on a physical punch that could have just been... that could have been used later when he actually sparked me. Oh, but he is going to do a spark. Okay, so this one wasn't wasted. This one wasn't wasted. Thanks, kisses, for your sacrifice. Use the baddest. Use the baddest bitch in all the land. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, Kitty. Kitty, are you watching? I just had, um, I want to show you something that I showed at the top of the stream, but I want to show you it exists too. All right, let's go back to Waka. Okay, look at what I did. Look at what I did. Hang on, let me switch it so you can see it big. Look what I had made. Is there a mock-up? So they're not like, I'm not going to sell these, but look. I made some sticker packs. Oh my gosh, the light is so bright. Here, get close. I made some sticker packs of the logos. These are sticker mule version. And then I got stream elements to make some too. These are kind of jacked up. I had to reorder some of them because they're not right. But look, it's also got like my, um, my logos and the alerts, the alert pictures. Thank you. So I got, I got these made as like a test. Um, yes, of the fur babies of Queen and of Ree. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I really like the sticker mule ones, but of course I can't do those as print on demand. I order, have to order, like the smallest pack I can order is a group of 10. So, but the sticker mule ones are definitely better quality. I like them way better. Um, oh, I need to, but I think, I think I might do that. Hmm. Yeah, because both of their MP is low. I'm gonna be in line for first edition stickers. Well, Kitty, send me your, um... Because I can't... These, most of these are, like, messed up in some way. Either I don't like the layout, or they're literally cut out wrong. Um... Oh, thank you so much! So, uh, DM me your address. I, I think I had it at one point in time, but who knows where it is now. Um, DM me your address, and I will, uh, send you some. Because I can't... Because these ones that I have right here, I can't sell. Um, they're not right. They're not fit. Uh, where am I going back to? Oh, yeah. I'm going back to quick attack. Quick hit. Okay. He hasn't cannoned again yet. 
so we're not queued up for a spark. So we're still good. Gosh, he is taking forever. Okay, physical again. All right. <clears throat> he doesn't like cannons, to be honest. Who does? Ha! Ah, he only likes fanons. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm doing like... I mean, I feel like I'm doing really good damage. I guess 10 mil is just like a lot of fucking HP. Because this is like... I'm doing between like 40 and uh, the... Yeah, the 999s. But even if I hit for those nines every time, like it's just, it's like it's taking forever. Let's see. Yeah. 10 mils a lot and you're not consistently, exactly. I'm not consistently doing it. Right. So he did the cannon. So he could potentially spark for his next turn. Okay. I don't want to miss it. I'm gonna run out of Aeons at some point. All right, come on, Yuna. Summon again. Oh, I'm about to run out of Aeons. Literally, this is my last one. Literally last one. Do we want to cheat? Do we want to cheat? Then Mato. Yeah, hopefully I kill him before he keeps doing physical. <sighs> uh, I don't know. I don't know the urge. The urge to Zan Mato. The feminine urge to Zan Mato. <laughs> uh, feminine urge to Zan Mato. Give me a bit. I'm really... You got a wiki. So if I hit him for the 9999s every single time, it would still take 100 turns to kill him. And I haven't done that. And I don't know how many turns I've had. I really want to just San Mato. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, let's do this. I don't know who, how many people in here are actually paying attention, but we're going to do a poll. Um, should I Zan Mato? Response is yes. No. Um. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you spend spell reagents on the vote too. We're gonna do, we're just gonna do two minutes. Okay, two minute poll. Joseph's multicolored dream coat. Yeah, it's true. He's, uh, he's wearing a pretty amazing Technicolor dream coat. He's singing it. <laughs> Oh, I want to hear. I don't know the songs. I don't know the songs to sing it. I mean, I know I know the musical, but like I don't know it good enough to sing it. All right, you guys, vote. Should should I Zan Mato? You can use your channel points to vote more. So feel free to pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. That's my jam. I can't find how much Zan Mato costs. It, it's super complex. Kitty, I, I mean, sorry, Koneko. You know, both names both start with K, and I just literally read the wrong thing. Koneko, I'll just pay him like a gajillion dollars. I'll just pay him like a, or a gajillion gill. A, gaj, a, a gajillion gillion. Oh my gosh, someone is saying no. Oh, someone says no, don't cheat. Don't cheat. So I'm very heavy into that. So if you want yes, you need to vote more. Stuff that ballot box, y'all. Stuff that ballot box. Okay. <laughs> it's almost over. A few more seconds, it looks like. Uh, commit some voter fraud. Pay for your votes. Okay. 
I feel like someone knows better than me, but I'm stubborn. I believe in you, Kitty. What I don't know which side you're voting for, but whatever it is, I believe in you. I have Sailor Moon makeup brushes, by the way, guys. Have I ever shown you that? See, they're little Sailor Moons. I also have some Animal Crossing one. I just washed them, so they're all sitting here drying. This is um, Gulliver. Gulliver brush. All right, it's almost over, you guys. It's almost over. Okay, the nose win. Oh, okay. I see. One of our lurker friends says, no cheating, Karen. Okay, we ain't gonna pay him too much then. We just gonna pay him like... We just gonna pay him a little. He won't Zanmato. He won't Zanmato. <laughs> he won't Zanmato. Okay, there we go. He ate the spark. I see you, friend. I see you. You said no! You said, Karen, don't do it. You'll have regrets. <laughs> but I might do it later. Might do it later. We'll see if I fail this attempt. I think we're about to. I think he's gonna spark me. I think next time he sparks me, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna kill him before then. Um, did everybody, I shelled everybody, didn't I? Or have they died since then? Mm, they're not shelled anymore. But nothing, nothing helps with spark. Nothing helps with spark, so who gives a fuck? Not me. Okay, let's keep quick hitting. I might as well bring Orin back in instead of Yuna. I just noticed the doggy looks all worried when he dies. <laughs> Uh, you're better than that. Thank you, Weasel. I like to think so, but sometimes. Sometimes just cheating just feels good. Sometimes cheating just... Just feels good. <laughs> oh. Well. That answers that! <laughs> oh. End of world. But I'm lit tired. We'll have a nap. Send fire Zim missiles! Okay. He fired Zim missiles, guys. He fired Zim missiles. So even with, like, my sphere grid decked the fuck out, I am not fast enough to beat Nemesis. Hmm. We learned something, I'm sure. We learned cheating is what you should do. <laughs> but I didn't. Is that end of the world reference? Perhaps, Weasel, perhaps. Super throwback. Oh, well, um, our friend this morning, I mean, not this morning, this morning, at the start of the stream, uh, reminded me of uh, set, set up your bombs, that meme. And so, like, my brain is, like, on early 2000s memes mode right now. Hmm. We also learned not to use overdrives. That's true. That attempt was really good compared to the other attempts that we have done. But I did not do good enough. I did not do good enough. Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to do? It was a good attempt. I know something I'm going to have to do is farm up some more spheres. I guess I can show you guys who drops which spheres. I didn't mean to hit chat. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah. Juggernaut right here. Excuse me. Um, he drops the strength spheres. Tankit drops the defense spheres. Um, Jumbo Flan drops the magic spheres. Uh, One Eye drops the magic defense spheres. Fenrir drops the agility spheres. Um, Terex 
drops the evade spheres. Hornet drops the accuracy spheres. Um, Ironclad down here drops HP spheres. And Vidatu drops the MP spheres. Now for fortune spheres, which you have, you end up needing to farm a lot of those. So you have to find the most of those. It's Earth Eater. So Earth Eater is the strongest of those. And that's what he drops. I guess we could do some farming. We could farm a little bit. We could farm a little bit. That overdrive did screw me. Just send Madu right out of the gate this time. I really do want to beat Nemesis. I really do want to beat Nemesis. Okay, maybe we can do that and then we can come back and beat him more legitimately. Zanmato's legitimate though. Like the game gives you that and it doesn't let you Zanmato like the final boss, right? Like you can't, you can't Zanmato um, like Braska's final Aeon or whatever. So it's a legitimate strategy. This doesn't feel legitimate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly why I just saved Koneko. Yes. We're on the same, we're on the same wavelength, friends. We're on the same wavelength. Okay. Let's see. Does he even Zen Mato? Let's find out. Let's find out if he even Zen Matos. Okay. All right, Jingles. Let's go. Can't find if he's immune. He's If he doesn't say that he's immune, then he probably isn't immune. All right. Let's pay him one million dollars. There. That should be enough. That should be enough, no matter what their friendship level is. It was not enough. I guess he is just truly powerful. Do I need to spend all my money? I mean, what the heck do I need money for? What? Some of the story bosses are. But these, so these guys are not. I guess because he's so powerful, maybe I have to pay like, maybe I have to pay like that much. There's a spreadsheet someone's made somewhere, but I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to... I want to just one more time. One more time with feeling, you guys. Grand summon it, though, then it's more likely to do Zanmato. Heard. Okay. All right. Grand summon, baby. Oh, he's dead because I didn't... Because I didn't talk to the sphere grid. I'm smart. Bye. See you in a second, nemesis. See you in a second. Yes, yeah, it's super complicated. Because it's... Because... It depends on how difficult the boss is, as well as, like, how close Yuna is to him. And how close she is to him depends on, like, how much you've used him and all kinds of other, like, really fun stuff. Like, he's super complicated, which is why, like, I never, ever... That's giggles. That's not fucking... That's not him. I'm a dummy. Too busy talking, not watching what's going on. Okay, we saved right before, so whatever. Come on, we'll just do this again. Just do it again. Load it up. It instantly kills any enemy in the game with the exception of Unalesca and Braska's final Aeon, which will only move to the next form unless they've already reached their final form, in which case Zamato will kill them. Okay. It can kill the final Aeon. I had no idea. I really thought it couldn't. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do it right this time. Uh, yeah. All right, come here, Yuna. We're gonna grand summon Jingles, and we're gonna give him one million dollars. Let's see what happens. All right. There. Is that enough money for you, Mr. Jingles? There he goes, and Motto. Oh, 
I unlocked a Steam achievement. Okay. That did work. That did work. <laughs> Una gets lots of AP. <laughs> oh, he drops Warp Spheres. Oh. Oh, that's good to know. We did it. Oh! You've beaten my mightiest beast. Hmm, what extraordinary power. All right, from now on, you shall be known as the one who conquered all. I never imagined that my mightiest creation could be defeated. Yes, truly remarkable. I can't find any other way to express it. All that's left to do is to defeat sin. I have faith in you, Sonny. Obtain Mark of Conquest. What does that do? There won't be any more new fiends, but you can still battle them anytime. Feel free to come back whenever you wish to train. You'll, of course, need to pay for it, though. Well, yeah, motherfucker. You and Rin, like, in a competition for, like, the most money-hungry characters. All right. Where's this thing that he gave me? Uh, it should be at the bottom. Mm. Was it not an item? Is it a piece of equipment? Well, I just want to look. I just want to look. I guess if I go into customize, I can look. It's a key item? Okay, I'll go look at my key items. After I confirm that it's not in here. But I think you're probably right. That actually makes way more sense. Yep. Okay. Um. Key item. Mark of Conquest. It's literally just an item. It's literally just it. It's just the, like, you did it. You did it. You did it. Hooray. That's it. That's all it does. It's an achievement item doesn't do anything actually useful, so I assume it's in key items. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right, you guys. We did that. We beat up Nemesis. All right. Let's progress a little bit. Come here, Yuna. You can unlock the next thing. Nope, I want to use magic defense spheres. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that I did that physically, like on the camera, but my heart jumped. <laughs> I don't feel like my body did though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the screaming biddies, kitty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's pretty perfect. It's pretty perfect. Ah, okay. What is, what is her magic defense at now? So now it's at 180. Okay. Yes, we can return to the main menu. Yep, okay. All right, <clears throat> let's board the airship. Okay, so the next boss is Dark Bahamut. So I'll show you guys where Dark Bahamut is. <clears throat> he is in Xanarkin Ruins. I'm gonna go to the dome area. And it still plays the beautiful music here. Will this let us teleport inside? Yeah, dome corridor. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it did it. I'm eating ketchup flavored potato chips. I need y'all to know it's life. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I want some ketchup flavored potato chips. I've had some before and I really enjoyed them. Is this the last save sphere before the spot? It might be. Let's save. Why does it still do that? Yeah, I don't know why it still does the zoom me out right there. That's kind of pointless. There's nothing really. Oh my god. Stop lighting up the floor. Yeah, I already. it's already all done. I hate how the camera does the whoosh thing. Because that's the exact movement that it does when it's like time to fight the boss that comes up here. And you think, oh god, something's coming. Nothing's coming. It's just the elevator. <clears throat> 
Dark Bahamut's one of the most difficult Dark Aeons to defeat after every five of the player's attacks, excluding counterattacks, Dark Bahamut counters with Impulse, which can KO unprotected characters, and will shatter the character? What? If they're petrified, taking them out of action? Oh, what? It also inflicts a bunch of stuff that I hate. Dark Bahamut's very high luck stat, thus evading most normal attacks, no matter how high the character's accuracy is, unless they also have a high luck stat themselves or use aim. Mega Flare inflicts delay. It also removes most beneficial status effects except for auto life. His overdrive gauge increases by 10%. Holy shit. Good armor abilities that have ribbon, auto haste, auto phoenix, auto protect. While stoneproof armor is useful, ribbon is the best option. Well, I only have one ribbon whip ribbon friend. Um, I only have one ribbon friend. That's Auron. Holy shnikes. Um, Mega Flare can also be survived by summoning an Aeon or by casting Auto Life on everyone. The Overdrive is not as damaging compared to those of other Dark Aeons. Party members with break HP limit before Dark Bahamut executes his Mega Flare will also survive it. After soaking the damage, the party should fully heal with a final Elixir mix. It helps if all party members have strength, defense, and agility at 255. Yeah, like when I was skimming the wiki stuff it was reading sentences like that that maybe like let me just finish the sphere grid let me just finish the sphere grid and it's, it's probably still not going to be enough all right <sighs> anyway he's back here he's up here he's basically he's where we fought unaleska all right are you ready to die now Time to die. <clears throat> the amount of odds in the sky are very low, so if you want to use money strats, save beforehand. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 See. Can we break him? Easy but long boring. One character have counterattack and use sentinel. This character does not have enough luck. They should be okay. Five times aim. Must be high enough to survive the physical attacks. Protect cheer. Well, all of these guys have counter on their weapons, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so he has evade and counter. I mean, we don't have time to do like a long strap for the end of stream, but like we can see how it goes. Yeah. We can see how it goes. So that's two. Three. Uh, four. Oh, not skill, it's a special. All right, that's five cheers. Oh, but now they're all gone because he's dead. Well, anyway, let's try that again. Five cheers. One, two, Do a third cheer. I guess. Where's Sentinel at? That's another ability I never use. Is it under is it under special? Yeah. Guard allies while in defensive stance. Okay. All right, everybody's all cheered up and Orin sentinel, so Orin's going to take the hit. But he don't survive. So he can't counter. You got to survive. What's up, lady? Boop, boop, I got your tail. So I need to do a break HP limit if that's going to work. 
or I definitely have to trick out more defense spheres on the sphere grid. You'd have to have maxed out defense for sure. So though, because he's not going to survive to do the counter. I wonder how much damage the attack reels does. Let's find out. <clears throat> how much damage does it do? Nine K each time. Okay. Pretty cool. All right, why not? Let's do it. Oh my God, there we go. Because at least he's not like Nemesis where I can I couldn't use my overdrives at all because he would counter me. What are you tearing up? Your claws tearing something up, lady. Um. Oh yeah, he missed. Does Impulse hit everybody? Or just one? It hits everybody. Oh, this is the shattering bullshit. <gasps> what? How the fuck am I supposed to? You have to auto life. You have to auto life your ribbon person. You have to auto life your ribbon person or have more ribbon. Man, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I am very rich. I wonder. I wonder. I mean, all of the bosses at this point are unfair because they know that you're gonna have done what I've done and like just done, maxed out the sphere grid and all that stuff. So they want to, they want to give you like an actual challenge, which is why I never play this far. Cause I'm just like, whatever, who cares? Um. Oh, she's not got her overdrive. She's not got her overdrive. Mm. Oh, I can't flee. <laughs> I was going to see if Than Mato would work. I think I'm going to have to max out my peeps defense i just don't see any other way i'm gonna have to get my peeps at the 255 defense for 225 or whatever it is it's like something like that for the max to have a chance of beating him <clears throat> I know he's not. Well, no, because we know he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it if I'm don't if I don't do a grand summon. That's what we've learned before. Have you tried flirting with them? Pity. Obviously. But he don't care. He says I am immune to flirting. I do not understand your, your mortal ways. Oh, and here comes the impulse. Bye. Bye. It was a nice life. It was a nice life. We're all stoned now. I'm gonna go out stoned. Hmm. <laughs> 
I can see them saying that, damn. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where is Dark Ujimbo at? I wonder if... I bet all of them are gonna be stupid hard like this. Oh my god, you have to fight Dark Yojimbo a billion times? What? Fifth Dark Yojimbo encounter. The heck? Five times in a row. What? You have to defeat him five times in a row. Um... What's Dark Anima? Okay. After completing Waka's Ball Trial in Mount Gagazette, once more, Dark Anima will appear in the interest of the mountain. The chains suspending Anima when she is at the bottom are not shown during the battle. Okay. She has the most HP. Of course she does, because she's badass. Um, apparently she's not overly difficult compared to Dark Bahamut and Dark Maga Sisters. Well, that's good to know. So maybe Dark Anima is the next one to try to fight? We have to go redo Waka's ball trial. I guess we can at least go, we can at least go do that. We can go redo Waka's ball trial. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back on the airship. So at least we have it unlocked for her. You're counting on Thanks. I'm counting on me too. Yeah, here we go. I can see them saying that, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we want to go... I think cave entrance would be the easiest way to go to that. I, ass I mean, I assume when they say walk as ball trial, they mean, wait, we gotta go swim. Oh, let me turn off encounters. Um, I assume they mean we gotta come down here and swim. and do these little guys. And it's not really Waka's, but I assume that's what they're saying. The blue ears give you her a lovely red tint unrelated. Thank you so much. I've actually been um, trying to get light in my hair, but do a little bit more naturally instead of just bleaching it. Um, at work, we have a Halloween contest, each team does, and our theme for our team this year is Harry Potter. Oh, it's this. Okay, Waka's ball to hit the center. Oops. Um. So I I think like I think it's gonna look redder and redder. If I if this is working the way I think it's like I think it's actually working and it is making my hair lighter. But I didn't I didn't want to like bleach my hair or anything. But if I don't bleach it a little bit, then I'm not gonna get Ivana Lynch's hair. It's not gonna happen. So I thought like maybe I can just do that kind of gradually with a, a lightener. Aha, there we go. And then when I do, there we go. Okay, there she is. And then when we, when, when then when I do like the temporary dye, it'll actually look right. I just looked at the other dark at Anne's and I'm laughing. It's possible to ditch two of the three Maga sisters and fight them all separately, really? Really? I might have to look up how to do that. <laughs> I might have to look up how to do that. Okay, so we did the ball trial, so Dark Anima is there. So that's set up. And the Maga Sisters are on the Mushroom Rock Road, right? They're like in that area. Because I'm pretty sure I've accidentally run into them before. Kitty, by the way, you're the first person to notice um, that it's lighter, that, that I didn't tell I was doing that anyway. 
Once Dark Maga sisters are summoned, they will approach the party and they will catch them in battle. Against all three sisters will initiate their overdrive bar full. If the player avoids them and runs towards the valley, they'll give chase. If the player reaches halfway up the valley, Dark Cindy will get up and the remaining two sisters catch the party. Dark Cindy will not participate and will be fought separately. If the player reaches the mushroom elevator at the north end of the valley, Dark Mindy will give up the chase. And the player will face Dark Sandy on her own. Once Dark Sandy is defeated, the player must take the elevator down to battle Dark Mindy, then run back to battle Dark Cindy. Interesting. Interesting. That is good to know. That is good to know. Okay, let's save. Can we do any of that? I think the way we do it... Yes. Mushroom Rock Road. I think this is how it works. Oh, that takes me down there. That's not where I really wanted to go. Okay. Um, board the airship. That's not really the spot I wanted to go. This music's so intense. Don't they know in another save file I already beat Sin? Um, okay, so I think maybe... Mm, yeah, me head high road. And we're just gonna do some walk-in. We're just gonna- we're just gonna walk. Yeah. We can- can, can we rent a Chibokobo? We can- let's rent a Chibokobo. Yes, I would like to ride a Chaboka ball. Let's go! Let's go! Mm -mm 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 These characters have no knowledge of alternate timelines. Well, they should, Koneko, because I already saved the world. Okay, I already saved the world. They should be thanking me. I know I went back in time to start fighting these optional bosses, but we know, we know that I did it. Okay, let's save. So I'm pretty sure if I remember when I accidentally ran into them that once I enter the next screen, um, and I walk far enough, they'll, like, jump down from up high and, like, attack me. Yeah, if I walk past these two, they're, like, up there. Up there on that ledge. Oh, but they didn't jump down. How do I trigger them? It running back this way? I swear I accidentally like triggered them before. Yeah, because the part, the place they're saying to run from them is over here. You save them from alternate world from, you save the alternate world from alternate sin. That sounds hilarious. Alternate sin, but I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That other sin. Okay. Maybe I have to walk a little farther. Kitty cats, what are y'all doing? What are you doing with that craziness? They're doing all kinds of craziness, I don't know. I didn't I didn't walk the right way. I didn't walk the right way. I don't think I remember this wrong. Is it because I have encounters turned off? That can't be it. But let's do this. Ah, there we go. I had to walk on the other side of the bitches. Yep. There they are. I told you guys they were up on that ledge. Okay. Let's run! Music is so intense. It's so intense. All right. 
Go, 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 Titus. Go, Titus. Oh. Okay. She gave up. Run, Titus, run! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Do your Sanic impression. Fast! You gotta go fast! My heart is racing, you guys. It's racing. I think the cats are destroying my door, but I can't care about that right now. I have to run away. I have to run away from the dark Cindy and dark Mindy and dark whatever the fuck her other name is. I don't know. I named mine FMK. <sighs> Lost one pursuer. Fuck yeah. Kitty, I know that was you, even though I'm not reading the chat to confirm it, but I know it was you and I thought that was in the game for a second. I was really freaked out for a second. I was like, what the fuck? Why is the game a Agent Smith laughing at me? And then I realized that's not. It's Kitty Agent Smith laughing at me. Oh, no. Okay, it's just two of them. It's just two of them. It's just two. Oh, it's just two. It's just two. Yep. Okay, let's see what happens. Come on, bitches, eat the sun. Yum, yum. Is it tasty? Okay. Okay. Oh, lady, it's you destroying the door. Would you stop that? At least they can't overdrive me, I guess, because it's just the two of them instead of all three. So that's nice. Oh. Okay. It wasn't too bad. There's not poggers, though. I'm out of water. I thirst. Hmm. I guess I'm going to quick hit, quick hit to victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't max overdrive, but they have another move they can use. Let me wiki. Oh, because if it's just two of them, they get a special something that they can do. Oh, and I keep missing. That's great. I didn't push the buttons right or something. I don't know. I guess because this is a newer controller, I'm not used to the way the D-pad works on it. Mm, that's not good, those misses. Dark Sandy's regular attacks are powerful and inflict petrification. When she's alone or with Dark Mindy is Mega Graphodon, which deals half, basically half of the max HP is considered magical damage with a bunch of status ailments. Okay. The slot machine hit send me. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Attack reels is OP. OP. Okay, let's do it right this time. There we go. Good job, Waka. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and these guys aren't punishing me for using overdrive, so that's really nice. Dark Mindy's the most evasive enemy in the game. Wow. That's... Oh, shit. That's crazy stats for not missing. Well, good thing we can overdrive. Okay. Aim luck and jinx abilities to hit her reliably. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm doing pretty good, I feel like, with using... Yeah, but when I do that, it doesn't... 
it doesn't work. It, like, overdrives really is how I'm hitting her. Okay, let's do it right this time. There. If for some reason, when I hit down, it hits the whole thing on this controller. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't use the D-pad. Maybe I should use the control stick. Sandy should be killed first because she's more dangerous. Okay. You bitch! Oh! Healer overdrive mode. That's nice. <laughs> uh... I guess Tit Titus can cure himself. Let's attack reels. <clears throat> How much HP do these guys have? Like, is there any hope of me doing doing this in the next, like, five minutes? Or is that, like, a pipe dream? Um, remedy. Because you've got the cure and I've got the remedy. Oh no, but he's cursed now. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, we miss Sandy too. Yep. Oh, and here's the Mega Gravitron. And that hurts. Oh, and it inflicts... Oh, I see, and now they have the countdown. It's the final countdown! Yeah, and now I'm dead. Okay. But actually, that looks possible. Unlike some of the other things that I was seeing with those with the other ones. Okay. And we can run away, and I can run away better next time so that I'm only fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. So, I think... Um, you split them up. Yeah, split them up. Okay. So, I think when we next play, we're going to do Maga Sisters... Then Dark Anima, then Dark Bahamut, then Dark Yojimbo, because you have to fight Dark Yojimbo, like, five times. And then Penance. But I think we start with the Maga Sisters. Honestly, truly. <sighs> okay, let's save. Okay. But that Maga Sisters one definitely looks more doable than the others. <clears throat> okay, but it's going to be a second before we play more Final Fantasy X. Because soon October starts, you guys. And it's spooky month. And it's time for a spooky game. Who can guess what spooky game I'm going to be playing? You can't guess. It is Monster Prom. Yes, we are going to be doing a blind playthrough of Monster Prom based on what the internet says for time to complete. I think we can maybe finish the game within the four Thursday streams for October. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll play a little bit in November too if we don't quite finish it. And when we're done with Monster Prom, then we'll come back to Final Fantasy X. So we're going to spend spooky month dating some monsters, you guys. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. And then next, um, next, this coming up Saturday, uh, we are going to be talking about Sailor Moon Eternal. So if you have enjoyed our Sailor Moon Crystal talk, we are finally finished with Sailor Moon Crystal. We have videos for season one, two, and three, and we are talking about Eternal, which is the two-part movie that has the arc with like Helios and the Dark Moon Circus and all of that. We're talking about that on Saturday. So I'm really excited. Um, we're going to have watched all of Sailor Moon Crystal at that point. And next year when it comes out, we'll actually do the pair of movies that's going to be for the Sailor Stars arc. It's going to be really cool. Okay, you guys, um, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get it started. We're going to raid our friend Space Robot Arm who came in at the beginning of the stream and said hello. Okay, here we go. 
All right, while that raid is going, here's all the places you can find me. You can find me right here on Twitch and you should absolutely be following my Twitch channel so that you can come and see all of my streams. You can support me in all of the normal ways, subscribing bits, all that fun stuff. Uh, also, you should subscribe to my YouTube because that's where I post all of my VODs. You should also, also join my Discord because then you can get all of the notifications more reliably than you would from trusting Twitch and YouTube. And last but not least, you should follow my Twitter because that is my main social media where you can be kept up to date on everything that's going on with me. So whenever there's stream changes or cancellations or things like that, Twitter is the best place to go find them. All right, that's it. That's all from me, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.